not to keep beating you guys up with comic books and stuff, um, but comic books is one of the most expressive forms of art that were actually created in America. So this is an American thing. Uh, it goes all the way back to Ben Franklin doing political cartoons at the beginning of the country. Uh, and has evolved into something that has done the world over. Styles in comic books range dramatically from being very realistic, like you see here with um, Jim Lee, to being very, very detailed but stylized. You know, I get, and you probably understand that this is a bird's eye view of a person's head but it is an outer proportion bird's eye view of a person's head. Yet it still manages to tell the story with this visual image, right? Here's a guy, he's super nervous about something. Even if you don't read the narrative box over to the side, you get the emotion from the expression on his face, the distortion of the elements and principles that are within this frame and that he is searching desperately for something, you know, or he's afraid of something. Uh, he's passing a window, it's full of junk, it's probably a thrift store. You know, people, he's so visibly disturbed that people are looking at him wondering what he's gonna do next. So even though this isn't a photographic interpretation, it really gets to point across even by simplifying the image from something that detailed, all right? Still very stylized, very clean. A lot of talent went into that. Um, there are other stories that are incredible that go even more simplistic. Scott Pilgrim, if you actually ever read the original book, these are almost cartoon versions of people. So this is almost like something you would see on Cartoon Network, you know, a, a person, basically broken down to very simple shapes, over-exaggerated heads, over-exaggerated eyes, under-exaggerated nose. She still has all fingers. That's how you know when you're really heading toward animation over comic books, is people start to lose fingers and you'll see three fingers and a thumb because it takes longer to animate that. All right, once again, like in this image here, Another group shot sitting outside. This is more of a group portrait than it is showing something going on, but you get the idea. Over enlarged heads, stylistically simplistic people. You know, if you need to go for something like this in your skeleton image, um, that would be absolutely fine. All right, way over the top simplified to the point where the bottom character has no eyes because their eyes are replaced with hair. All right, everybody looks the same. Even with a hood on, you would not look exactly the same. But to, for the story's sake, for the image sake, for the moment that they are trying to capture and convey, it works pretty well. All right, scribbly. I'm never going to see him again. I think I'm going to throw up. Why didn't I ask him for his name or something? I've just blown my only chance to have love in my life. Still tells a story, even though it's scribbly. Uh, Red Grooms is a very famous artist who has a very loose style like this. Every one of these, valid. And of course, probably the most popular of the last four years, Rick and Morty. He has a basketball for a head. They've really played down the pupils looking like little X's. So that's different from the first couple of seasons. They used to have the dead fish eye going on when they would draw them. Um, the backgrounds in Rick and Morty, amazing. The characters themselves, super simplified though not as simplified as that, or Finn and Jake. <laughs> I know that cartoon characters have 
tubes for arms, but that's taken it to a whole new level. And uh, Powerpuff Girls don't even have fingers or hands. So that's a little weird. And lastly, we've got Blue, and I cannot remember the guy's name. All right. Now, well, I think Blue's taken it to a whole new level. <laughs> um, in lack of detail. Uh, the rest of them are valid. So if you decide for your uh, skeleton drawing, you want big headed skeletons with tiny bodies. Uh, so be it. Let's get these things finished, all right? All right, that's it. Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs>